Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad and today we're talking about sunshades. I want the best sunshade for the beach. I'm looking at multiple factors for this. Today we're looking at the Shibumi. I reached out to Shibumi and asked them if they would send me one and they agreed. They did send this to me for free, but they're not paying me for the review. I do not have to send my review to them prior to posting, which a lot of companies want me to do, uh, but I won't do reviews for companies like that most of the time. I'll always let you know uh, if I am getting paid for the review or not. So the way this works is it has this pole. I'm gonna show you a full setup video from that I recorded when we were at the beach. And it just snaps together. It snaps together very easily. Some of the pieces went together automatically. So I'll go ahead and snap it together for you to show you. This tent is very easy to set up by yourself. If you have a second person, makes it even easier. Sets up in about four minutes. The rest of the tent is all here. There's nothing else to it. So you pull the tent out. It is intentionally connected to the bag. So there's a strap that goes from the tent to the bag. That's because you fill this up with sand. You stuff it full of sand all the way down. And then once you put the tent on the pole, like you see in the video, the sand is what keeps it from blowing over. So you put the sandbag the direction the wind's coming from, and then the sail blows away from the wind. Throughout the day, you move the pole as the wind adjusts. It happened every day we were at the beach. We set this up for six days in a row. Every day we we're at the beach, we had to adjust the pole because the wind direction changes frequently at the beach. Um, it's a great tent, super easy to set up. I would say it takes about five minutes with one person, maybe three and a half or four with two, but you can absolutely do it by yourself. Once you have the canopy on the pole, it has these two rubberized straps with snaps on them. You just wrap them around the pole a couple of times and snap them and it holds everything in place really well. This is day two on the beach. And you can see it's about 11 o'clock. We have not quite overhead sun yet, but got a gentle breeze and it's keeping the sunshade up very easily. We have plenty of room for four chairs a cooler and a beach bag with room to spare in front of and behind. And I was able to set it up all by myself this morning. Not difficult. Uh, once the breeze is blowing, you can set it up with no problem. It's super easy to put up too. I do put the pole in first. So there's a little pouch in the side that the pole goes in. That kind of holds the bag straight. And then I just grab the tent and I start stuffing it in there. It does look all wrinkled, but I don't think you're ever gonna get it in there nice and smooth and stuffing it in there worked fine for us every day at the beach. Uh, doesn't collect sand. I didn't even see any sand whenever I took it out and I packed it up the last day on the beach. I haven't taken it out again to remove any of the sand. So it is a great tent for any day with wind. You have to have a breeze because there's only a pole on one side. It hangs completely straight down if there's no breeze that day. So if it's your only option at the beach, there happens to be no breeze, which is rare at the beach, then this tent is not gonna be useful for you. Two of the six days when we were at the beach didn't have great wind for it for the whole day. One day was pretty stagnant in the morning. Everybody's shibumi was just hanging straight down, but by the end of the day, it was blowing so hard that people were taking down their umbrellas and their canopy style tents so they wouldn't get broken. So it does have its benefits over the other tents. One thing I don't love about the shibumi is the price point. Currently, it is going for about $250. I think the price is a little bit high, especially compared to other sunshade options. Uh, but it does seem to be made out of really good materials. We had zero issues with it the whole time we're at the beach. I don't anticipate any issues moving forward from this either because I think it, like I said, I think it's a great, well-made tent. Uh, would I buy this Shibumi tent for $250? I don't think I would, but I did walk down the beach and I talked to about 13 or 14 other Shibumi owners. So I did ask them uh, a few things. I said, what do you think about the tent? I don't work for the company. I'm not uh, telling them directly. I'm telling my viewers on YouTube. Every one of them said they loved it. So every single person said they liked it. I said, what about on non-windy days? They said, I mean, it's not ideal, but it's rare to not have any wind at the beach, which I agree with. And it's very rare to have a full day at the beach with no wind. Uh, I asked them about the price point, And some of them said, man, it's no big deal. They probably had pretty good money. This is tight wide DIY. I don't like to overspend on things I don't have to spend on. Um, but nobody was seriously concerned about the price point that already had one. People that were looking at them did stop me and ask me, hey, what are you filming? And I told them and they said, what's the price? And I said, 250. And some of them said, seems a little steep. So Shibumi, if you're watching this, consider if you can lower the price point a little bit. I think you would get a lot more sales. Um, I think it's a good tent. 
I would not spend $250 on it. It is not great in the non-windy days on the beach and you do have to adjust it throughout the day uh, to match up with the wind, but adjusting it is simply pulling one stake out of the ground and moving it. It takes 10, 15 seconds. You will have to rearrange your chairs as the shade moves, um, but we don't sit in our chairs all day. We are out playing in the water with the kids, but going back and forth to the house for snacks and drinks and things like that. Um, we're not just beach sitters. So it wasn't a big problem for us. Another thing I wanna discuss is multiple use cases. Can I use this sunshade in multiple places? You can only use this one in the sand at the beach because that one pole, the ends of it have to go into something to hold them. They don't, as far as I know, they don't sell any stands that you could use for your yard or on concrete surfaces. So that's where some of the other 10 options might outweigh this one. I hope you guys like this review. As you can see, I have told you before, I'm very honest, even if a company sends me the product for free. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have one, tell me what you love and don't love about it. If you don't have one, tell me if you're considering buying one and if you think the $250 price point is okay. I'm very curious to know. If you have a better beach shade solution, leave it in the comment section below. I'll reach out to the company and I'll give my honest review about that one as well. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. It'd be awesome if you'd click that logo in the bottom left hand corner to subscribe to my channel and maybe even check out one of my other videos shown on the right. As always, I hope you guys have a great day.